Hi guys, today I'll be doing a makeup tutorial from Miro's Dirty Music video. I'm gonna go for more of the punk rock look that she had. Um, here's a close up of it. Mm -hmm. um, I already did one half of the eye, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the tutorial on this eye. Um, I've already started with my concealer. I'm using, um, I'm using Ulta Soft Ivory Concealer. As you can tell, it's been well loved and it's almost gone. Um, the next thing you guys are going to want to do is put on your shadow insurance. Um, this is Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I just want to apply this a little bit to the eye, but bring it out past your eyebrow point because you're going to bring, bring in the wings way out. You want to bring it underneath too because you're going to be having a double wing effect going on. Sorry, my makeup tutorials aren't quite as... Uh, high tech as some of the others, but I'm trying my best. The next thing you're going to want to do is take an angled brush. This is Elf's uh, small angled brush. It's like my new best friend. And you're going to want to take a little bit of black eyeshadow. So you're going to want to start out here and draw it in. Let me get my bangs out of the way so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So bring that black, use that solid black color and bring out the wing. And also draw it in a little bit, but don't go all the way in. You're going to want to go about halfway. Like that. And then take your, just your normal brush. This is going to be my e.l.f. professional br shadow brush and dip that in some black and you're going to want to start about halfway from the corner and bring it in alright now once you have that on about half of your eyelid you're going to want to take your smudge brush again this is elf I believe and you're going to want to take Start from about halfway of the wing and just smudge it down a little bit. You don't need a ton, so start off with about that right now. Take your shadow brush again, and you're going to want to dip it in a peachy flesh tone color. And what you're going to do is apply this on the second half of the lid, but don't go too far in. And you want a nice flesh tone color, so it's okay to apply maybe about two layers. And if your black looks like it's fading out a little bit, go, feel free to reapply some more black. And you want to definitely make sure it's dark and bring that smudge that back into the crease so that the black is outlining the peach. And make sure to blend these two colors with your smudge brush so that they uh, they go well together. So you're going to take your angled brush and dip it in some more of the black eyeshadow. Make sure you're just uh, taking off any excess because you don't want it to fall all over your face. And what you're going to do is start on your second wing on the bottom eye line, uh, bottom of your eye. And I make mine curl up. Some people can make them some people just make them curl down, um, but for this tutorial we're going to make it curl up. Just give it about maybe half an inch and angle it up a little bit. And draw it in, because you don't want to start at the corner of the eye, you're not going to give yourself quite enough room. So just, just below the corner of the eye and make sure you have a nice point going. And then draw that underneath the eye and bring it out. Okay, so there's your second wing. It's okay if it doesn't look perfect right now. So the next thing is take your angled brush again. And this time you're going to want to dip it in a white eyeshadow. Hey look, people are liking my Instagram. 
And I'm oh, sorry, I started with that sign you. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is take the white eyeshadow on your uh, angled brush, and you're gonna want to follow the out, um, follow the end of your black wings. So we basically you're gonna have like on this one, you're gonna have your white outline in. Okay, so now you have your white outlining your black wings. The next step you're going to want to take is a liquid eyeliner. Uh, on the last time I did this look, I used pencil, just an um, NYX, uh, Nick, oh excuse me, NYC black pencil. Um, but I recently have found a good eye liquid eyeliner, uh, really inexpensive if you want one. It's NYC's liquid eyeliner. It's only like. 248 or something at Target. Um, it doesn't crack or anything. Um, so I'm going to use the liquid eyeliner for the tutorial this time. It gives a little bit of sharp, sharper look and also um, darker as well. And what you're going to do with the liquid eyeliner is um, you're going to go in between the white and the black eyeshadow, but don't bring it up all the way to the top. You're going to start stop right before, like on this side. You're going to start right, stop right before you hit the end. But before you do that, go ahead and just do the top of your eyelid. Okay, so we're going to start the tip of the wing. You don't want too much uh, eyeliner on because you want it to be not too terribly thick. So we'll start about here. Okay, so there's your wing for the first one. Sorry, my leg's falling asleep. Alright, and now you're going to do the wing for the bottom one. Again, you don't want to go all the way out. You're only going to go about a little more than halfway. You want to try and connect the wings. So the next thing you're going to do is take your shadow brush and get a little bit more of that extra peach color and you're going to apply it just above, right, or excuse me, you're going to apply it just below the brow. It'll clean up any lines and it'll also give your brow a little bit more of a defined look. Is take NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk number 604 and you're going to apply just a little bit to the inner corner of your eye just like that and blend it out with your finger and to make it a little bit more defined I just take a corner of my smudge brush and I dip it in the white eyeshadow and just apply it right in the corner so it stands out a little bit better. After you've done that, take a black eye pencil, I'm just using NYC, and you're going to use it along the bottom of your waterline. Alright. And finally you're going to add your mascara. And then after that, feel free to add any fake uh, false eyelashes. I only have green ones, and I don't think that would quite go with this look. Um, so the uh, mascara I'm using today is something new, actually. It's Maybelline's Mega Plush Volume Express um, Blue Tube. So just apply that. Okay. And that actually completes the look of Miro's dirty eye make uh, dirty music video eye makeup for the punk rock look. Um, she also has a really soft lip in the music video, even with her punk look. Um, she has orange for her girl look, 
but a uh, soft pink for that. So I'm just going to use uh, NYC's Fragile Pink. This is NYC's Fragile Pink. And just apply that. And she also has that really drastic hair, so I pinned mine up, but she has her bangs down. So you got that kind of boy look going on. So then your mirror look is complete. Feel free to throw on some, you know, punk clothes. I had my heavy jewelry in. I'll post some pictures of the photo shoot I did with that. Um, you can see the subtle differences of the looks. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Here's an up-close look of the makeup. Hopefully my camera will focus. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry there hadn't been one for a while. Um, but... I'm always trying new things. Follow me on Facebook, uh, Twitter. Um, my Twitter name is Dance Number Four It, and I'm also on Instagram with the same Dance for It. Um, if you want to follow me there, I'm always posting my everyday pictures. And I hope you guys like, subscribe, have fun, try the look. All right, have fun, guys. Until next time.